Hello everyone, in this video I will try to review some of the basic concepts that you need to solve uh, maths of approximation and I will later solve an example math of this topic. Okay, so suppose here we have a variable x and value of x is 4 and then if I increase the value and the final value is 5 then this is your initial value and 5 is your final value so change in x is what change in x here is 5 minus 4 that is 1 so we need to denote this change in x by using a notation for example I'm using the symbol del x so del x basically represents change in x so if we need to write change in the radius you can just write del r similarly change in volume you can write del v so if i need to find the percentage change in x it means uh, we need to find the percentage in which the value of x has changed uh, for that we need the value one here that is the change and the actual value four into 100% so 20% so change in value in x is 20% so similarly the, if I write a formula for the change percentage change in anything all you need to do is divide the change by the actual value into 100% so you can use this as a formula if we need to find percentage change in volume it will be change in volume which is del v by actual v into 100 percent similarly if i need to find percentage change in radius it will become del r by actual r into 100 percent so depending on the maths uh, whatever parameters we need we can derive a formula for finding the percentage change in something so this is one thing we need to know and there is another another thing which is suppose i'm writing dy by dx so if the change in the values of y and x are like 100 1000 then uh, usually we take dy by dx we use the term uh, differentiation we use the letter dd but if the values are too small for example 0, 0, 4, 5, 6, and we are going to take 0 0.004 that is approximate values then uh, we have to write del y by del x so both the things represent the change and that's why we can uh, put a equal sign here put an equal sign here so if i'm writing d uh, del a by del r then it will become equal to it will be equal to the d a by d r similarly if i'm writing d del v by del r then we can also write dv by dr basically this del del thing and dv are both uh, both represents the same thing both are representing the uh, change in the uh, volume with respect to the radius in this case so you just need to make sure if i am taking volume here at the numerator then volume uh, at, and at the right side volume has to be at the numerator too and if r is at the denominator then take here r at the denominator too okay so suppose here is an example the question the given information is the percentage change in the volume of a sphere is two percent so if volume is uh, changed volume is increased by two percent it doesn't mean that radius will also increase by two percent because uh, volume and radius are not directly proportional so basically they give the percentage for one variable and we need to find the percentage change for another variable so uh, suppose uh, this is a mass of a sphere for this type of math of approximation, uh, it's better to uh, solve the maths by back calculation. For example, we need the percentage change of radius, that is, uh, percentage change in radius. For that, we need to find del r by r into 100. So, this is the value we need to find out. So, to find this, we need what? Del r so if we need del r 
and we know the value of what volume so del r del v should be equals to dr dv that is we need to take two terms here one is something that we need to find out in this case we need to find out radius and another one should be the one uh, should be the value of something that is given already we know the value for volume here so i'm taking r and v so at the right side we need to write r and v too so to find del r we need to use this equation so to get the value of del r we have to find this box and this box so the math should be started by finding these two boxes if we know the value of del v del r dv then by substituting these two values in this equation we will get the value of del r which can be then substituted here to find the percentage change in, uh, change in radius so for every approximation math i would suggest that you should always uh, write down the things that you need to find out to get to the actual answer so now i can uh, start the math suppose we know the value of the percentage change in volume which is two percent so percentage change in volume so percentage change in volume is two percent this is given so to write the uh, write on the formula for this one we need del v by actual v into hundred percent equals to two percent here two percent uh, this percentage is like suppose two meter two centimeter that is percentage here is just acting like a unit acting like an unit you do not need to write two by hundred like this okay so if we think that both percentage signs are cancelled out then del v by v into hundred equals to two so from here we can get del v so by cross multiplying we get two v by hundred so del v we have already we already know the value of del v the next thing we need to know is del r by v so since it's a uh, form uh, mass of sphere volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube so volume equals 4 by 3 pi r cube so if i differentiate this volume it will become dv by dr that is 4 by 3 pi will stay here and r cube we need to differentiate this it will become 3 r square so if i cancel the cancel out 3 the answer will be 4 pi r square so this is of the 4 pi r square is the value of dv by dr so we have found, uh, we have found out del v and dv by dr so now i will put these two things in uh, in this equation so del r by del v equals to dr by dv so if we need del r just take del v on the other side of the equation so it will become del r by del v into a de a dr by dv into del v so dr by dv it is the reciprocal of dv by dr so 1 by 4 pi r square into del v del v is what 2 v by 100 so it will become v by 200 pi r square so now we know the value of del r so the question at the very beginning of your maths asked for the value of percentage change in radius so this was your formula percentage change in radius for that we needed del r so now we know the value of del r so we can put this in this equation so percentage change in radius equals del r by r into 100 percent so del r is what this one v by 200 pi r square into 100 percent divided by actual r so if uh, imagine that below r there is 1 so by simplifying this we can write 1 by r into 100 percent 
so two zeros can be cancelled out then b by 2 pi r square uh, sorry r square into r is r cube percent then substitute the formula for volume volume formula is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 2 pi r cube percent so pi r cube pi r, pi r cube is cancelled out the answer is 2 by 3 percent well maths of approximation are not that much complicated all you need to do is just uh, write down the formula and find out the things that we need the values of so by writing the formula we knew that we ha uh, we uh, will have to find the value for delta v del v then dr by dv so differentiated volume with respect to radius so since i have the values so i'm putting these values here so this whole formula is written down here and then these two values are replaced here to get delta r why did we uh, why we needed this del r because we had to find percentage change in radius so this del r can be replaced here and then we will get the final answer